Hello everyone, welcome back and this is our seventh part of the car modeling tutorial. So in this part, what we'll do is we'll create this uh, roof of the car. Okay, so I've already done uh, halfway through and uh, let me just go ahead and attach these rest of the pieces and then I can just extrude these part also. So what I'll do is just select these two pieces Hold shift, right click and choose connect, uh, combine. There you go. So when I do the combine, you'll notice that at the other side duplicate just went off. So we can just bring that back once again. I'll go ahead and choose my move tool to check where my pivot point is. It needs to come to the middle. So what I'll do is I'll turn on the grid snap and just click here and drag. Oops, forgot to do one thing. I have to press insert key. Good. So now with grid snap, I got it exactly in the center. Press insert once again. There you go. Let's go ahead and choose edit. Duplicate special. I already have all these settings. Now, if you haven't watched the previous parts of uh, the modeling tutorials, you can actually find the links in the description. So please watch them. So now what I'll do is I'll just select all these edges. So I'll select the first one, double click on the last one. Okay, it's having some issue. Okay, so that could be because there's no connection here. Let me check these vertices. Okay, yes. As you can see, they're not connected. Now, remember, I combined them, but I still need to connect these vertices. So what I'll do is just select these vertices. Select, 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 and select. Um, and now I'll have to go to shift, right click and choose merge vertices, merge. Uh, let's just check and make sure that those are connected. Yes. So just click here to check, click here to check. Okay. That looks good. Okay. So now I'll go to edge, select the first edge, double click on the last edge. So you can see that it selects all these other edges in between. That looks good. I'll go ahead and shift right click and choose extrude. Okay. Now if you have this weird little angle, just go to the move tool, which will just make it straight. Okay. So that's just one extrude that is up. Okay. We'll try to align it to the same point. Looking good. Now I'll do one more extrude. This time I'll pull it up. Actually, I can scale it down to get the same uh, location there. Okay, something like that. And I have to pull it up. Let me check in the other views. Okay, to make sure that we're having it in the same height. Yes. Or I'll have to keep this one somewhere here. Okay, and just this one point, I can bring it over. Let's check this way. And this one has to come to the middle here. Okay, I can just pull this more closer here. And this point, I will snap it to the here. Okay, I press the V key. You can also click on this point snap. Starting to look good. Now let me just try to push this further away like so. And I can also keep this something like that. And we can just create some little space between them. That's perfect. Now, if you, uh, as you can see, we've got this little bit lowered. Let me check the side view. Okay, I think I can push this up. Push this one also up. This one also up. Okay, let me check these ones. Okay, so now all we need is just this top area to be connected. I'll go ahead and just delete this part and okay, 
And what I'll do is I'll just try to connect these ones from the front to the back. Select this one edge, extrude, just pull it all the way to the back. Okay, now this will get attached to this one. I'll choose the vertex, snap it here, select this next vertex. Now let me just count how many pieces I have uh, to work with. So there's one, two, three, and I think four. So if I connect this to a new one that I add here, then I'll have one, two, three, and four. I think that should be perfect. So what I'll do is I will add one edge loop here. Uh, well, I, what I did was I just selected this one edge and I pressed the up arrow. Sometimes you might have to press it twice in order to get the same exact degree. Okay, so once you got that, press shift, right click and choose connect components. So that adds up one set of edge loop there. Now, if you want to show some small difference, you can also push this slightly. Okay, and this vertex I will point snap here. Okay, so I think that's correct. Now what I'll do is I will just select these other faces, sorry, these other edges, one, two, three, four, and extrude. I will simply pull all this all the way back here. Select this one, press V, snap it there, this one, snap it here, this one, snap it here, this one, snap it here, and the last one, snap it there. Okay, that looks good. And I will have to create just one more, which is just disconnected there. So I'll select this last one edge, extrude, and just pull this all the way here. Select this one, press V, attach it here, select this one, attach it here. There you go. Now these ones I can just drag them to the other direction. Now one thing to notice is these two are still two different pieces. Okay, so in order to connect them, what I will do is I will just combine them first. So select this, shift select this, make sure that you're in object mode, and then combine. Okay, so I've got a lot of history information. Let me get rid of the history. And then I'll make a duplicate to the other side. Duplicate special. Okay, it's not going there because my pivot point is in a different location. I'll press insert key once again. Turn on the grid snap and then just move it all the way there. So that comes to the center. Turn off the grid snap. Press the insert key once again. And now edit duplicate special good okay that looks good now it's all the same now we did a lot of point snap but we did not connect them so you can actually press three key and it will basically show us that we have some issues here okay so those issues are basically because of these uh, points that needs to be merged I'll press one once again Let's just choose these vertices. So let's select all these vertices. Okay, shift, right click, and choose merge vertices, merge. Now this merge threshold is just 0 0.01, so it should pretty much fix the problem that we have. Let's press three once again. So now you can see that it looks much cleaner. Okay, so all we need to work on is just this gap that we have. Okay, so what I'll do for that is I'll just add some edge loops. Shift right click and choose insert edge loop tool. Click and drag. There you go. So that's just for one there. Now I'll add one here. Add one here. One here. And finally, oops. So that one there and just one more down there. looking good 
Now all I have to do is just connect them, select this. I can actually do a merge instead of just snapping it first. So target weld tool. So pick up this vertex, attach it there, pick up this vertex, attach it there, pick up this one, attach it there, pick up this one, attach it there. Looking good. Now all we need to do, do is just pull these things up. So I'll just go to face mode, um, choose the move tool, face mode, and select one, two, three, four, five. Actually, all these things needs to be pulled up. So let me also check in the side view. Yeah, they need to be pulled up. They're too much inside. So I'll turn off the grid snap. There you go. Just pull up slightly. OK. Now I think I'll just leave this last row and pull up these ones. One more next level. And then I can just deselect one more row or just two of these. Okay, looking good. If needed, I can add more divisions here. I think I will have to. Maybe I can just keep this a little bit away. So we'll finish the seventh part here. This is a quick part. We've completed this uh, roof. Now what we need to do is we'll have to create a lot of uh, details here with the windows and doors and lights and stuff like that, which we will do in the next part. Meanwhile, hit the like button if you like this video, share this with your friends if somebody wants to learn car modeling, and subscribe to my channel for watching more such animation tutorials. See you in the next part.